Hello to the Bailey family. Thank you very much for posting your comment on my YouTube channel. I'm taking it that, uh, that it was you that gave me the thumbs down and uh, won't be signing the petition. Understand, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Now for those of you who are watching out there that don't know what's going on or what's happened, the uh, Bailey family have posted a comment on the admissions video that I've made that says, how about you first petition to introduce compulsory admission, t admission te emission testing at Warrener Fitness Time, like civilized countries do? After we have regular performance-based testing of all cars, we can drop the built-after dates from the import legislation. Our, po our pollution is much worse than what most Kiwis accept. It is only by virtue of being a long, skinny country with ocean breezes blowing across it that we don't see most of our pollution. Rugby World Cup 2011 tourists won't see our clean green through our diesel exhausts. Interesting. Now, I don't think you've quite understood the point of my video, so I thought I'd just take this time to personally reply to it. Now, the simple answer is, how do you, how about first petitioning to introduce compulsory admission testing at time of warrant of fitness? I agree with this. I think it's a good idea. Um, the government has stated that it's too much of a cost for the country to bear because the admission uh, testing equipment is quite expensive and most garages that do warrant of fitness just can't afford it. Um, if you watch the Gerald Sherrick interview, you will see that this is something that he points out as well and says uh, his suggestion or recommendation is a admission test once every two years at designated um, Warren of Fitness shops around the country. So instead of every Warren of Fitness shop having to uh, fork out for the emission testing equipment, maybe you just use the bigger ones like VTNZ or, or something like that. And you, you have, I mean, most compliance shop, every compliance shop has a emission testing um, machine there. They need it in order to comply the vehicles that are coming into New Zealand now. Um, and unfortunately, if they run a vehicle on 91 fuel instead of 96, uh, the car won't, on most cases, pass the emissions test. They've got to ch change the fuel, which is my argument in a nutshell. What I'm saying is that the government has introduced a rule that's about to become legislation at the end of this year that will restrict the import of vehicles coming into New Zealand. Um, the idea is to clean up our air quality, when in fact... The cars that are coming into New Zealand, theoretically, should be cleaner burning engines than the older cars that are here on our roads, right? So, we're going to stop those cars because of the air quality issue. We're going to make the people that are here in New Zealand and have got those older cars, keep them on the road, which are going to become higher kilometre cars with tighter engines, effectively producing more emissions. Um, and uh, the real issue could be something like the quality of fuel. Now, it's not the be all and end all, but um, there's certainly things that we could do to improve the air quality for New Zealanders here in New Zealand, i.e., uh, we could make it mandatory for all buses and trucks to put an exhaust pipe up the t to the top of the roof line so the emissions go out over the top instead of sitting in a traffic jam with it blowing in your face. Um, we could uh, introduce, like you say, emission tests um, on vehicles going for warrant of fitnesses, perhaps not once every six months, but you know, once a year, once every two years, I think is quite feasible. Um, right, I don't understand why we would want to drop the built uh, built after date from legislation. I think it's a good idea if we did if we drop this, then suddenly dealers would be importing, or every every man and his dog would be importing cars from Japan that were made back in 1990 or something. Uh, we've got a good standard at the moment. We've got year 2000 cars. They've got dual airbags. They've got a front in, uh, crash frontal impact crash zone built into the vehicle. Um, most of the cars now have got a self-tuning um, admissions uh, computer on board. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really work when our fuel quality is so bad. But anyway, um, and you know, we're, we've got a much better quality car coming into New Zealand than, than we've ever had before. Uh, I think that we should keep that and we should come up with a really effective solution to clean up the air quality and address, address this issue in, a, in an effective manner versus one that was created just to get green votes under the... This, this, um, what, do you, what would you call it? Uh, scaremongering tactic that the import vehicles are the biggest polluting cars, are the biggest polluters in New Zealand. It's not true. It's not true. It's not the cars. It's the fuel that we run them on. Okay, that's just my point. And by doing this, we're going to take off all of the fresh cars out of our market and make sure that everybody keeps their old crappy ones on the road, which is the ones that we want to get off. Let's get those cars off our roads 
Thanks very much to the Broly family for your comments. Be welcome to uh, be more than keen to talk about it with you more if you want. You can give me a call, look up my phone number, it's online somewhere, email me, don't mind. Thank you very much. Um, and thanks for watching.